Greetings programs, welcome back to the Game Grid. You're back with Gaming Magic Markets, Baldur's Gate 3, and in this video, I wanted to take a short look, uh, a revisit, if you like, of the Armored Healbot build uh, from a couple of videos back. The idea of the Armored Healbot is to feel very much like um, the old um, characters in, say, World of Warcraft, where you take on the healing role in the uh, dungeon run or whatever, the raid, um, and your idea is just to push out healing at a rapid rate. Keep your party members going, re resurrect them where ne necessary, uh, remove a buffs, uh, debuffs from them, buff them as much as possible, and just make them the stars of the show while you are pulling the strings in the background. And with that in mind, what I wanted to do was uh, give you a few more tips on the playstyle. I've been, um, you know, advancing Shadowheart here as a uh, armored healbot really for most of the game. And on Act 3, significant uh, you know times where she's been able to pull my party out of the fire uh, you know and give them a fighting chance and it's very rare that I have to redo a battle um, I'm able to you know it'll take me a while but I will be able to get through the battle even on tactician mode um, and even some of the harder boss fights um, like the steel foundry and so forth Honestly, um, she is the star of the show for me, and I wanted to share with you some other tips of, you know, things that I found that are useful uh, for her to do. Now, of course, the, the whole point is that she's got many spell slots and also um, channel divinity uh, possibility. I've also, uh, if, if I just show you her um, character sheet here, I've also dipped one level into wizard. And this is just really out of, uh, you know, a bit of a curiosity and a little bit of greed as well. I want some of the cool wizard spells like fireball and magic missile and to be able to upscale you know upcast them uh, into more powerful versions of their uh, abilities but the reality is that actually a very interesting uh, play style has emerged for me and i think you may know about this already but if you don't uh, this might be eye-opening for you um, one of the best and i said this in the armored uh, healbot uh, build video the other day i said look you know don't sleep on the, the sanctuary spell okay and what you'll find is that sanctuary is a spell that at level one it cannot be overstated just how good the spell is firstly no concentration secondly it's a bonus action so you can throw it on it will last for 10 turns you know decent amount of uh, time of course in tabletop folks knew about this already anyone new to dungeons and dragons might not be aware of sanctuary it feels like cheating at times. So if I put this on, for example, I don't upcast it, just go with the level one version. Makes sense. Okay. Now, what I have is I have Sanctuary. I can't be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. However, I can still take damage from spells that are area of effect, that influence a larger area. In addition, what you'll find is that that AI largely ignores you. Sometimes you'll notice that certain AI enemies will come towards you as though they're going to attack you and then kind of think about it and move away. It's actually really fun. The other thing is you're not going to provoke attacks of opportunities. You can run around as you would like. Now, while that spell is on, you just got to be careful because you can, you know, get rid of it. And then you've got a one turn, um, you know, debuff where you can't put it on again immediately. Um, and that's if you harm or do damage or attack another creature. Okay, so previously you used to be able to pop spirit, spirit guardians on as well and uh, run around damaging other creatures in a passive way or an in, indirect way, shall we say, and that felt broken. And I think it's been patched. Certainly in tabletop, it was always the DM's, uh, you know, province of whether they'd accept it or not, you know, uh, in the spirit of the rules or not. Um, and so a lot of the times it wasn't allowed, but uh, it was working. I was able to do that before patch one. I think uh, it's stopped now. And so that's a shame, but it doesn't matter because the reality is that if you then decide that, OK, I'm not going to cause damage. I'm just going to run around, you know, pretty much immune to a lot of air, you know, enemies and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to be popping my preserved life and, you know, keeping my party members nicely healed and revivifying them wherever possible that's great you don't need to do direct damage you can also potentially buff your party with things like bless you can uh, also put warding bond on uh, that's particularly interesting and then the thing is you can do things like i think you can do things like blindness silence you can definitely do so you can debuff your enemies buff your own party members and also heal uh, as you've uh, you know want to do so it's even more sort of leaning into the idea of the armored heel bot where you're not only 
uh, you know, surviving. You're doing it without even being troubled by the enemies. Now, here's here we go one stage further. And I would say the best role that you can take is start to equalize the numbers. Be a summoner, okay? Any spell that's going to get you the ability to bring in powerful, um, you know, uh, uh, combatants onto your side. I'm going to pull in a genie here. Get them into my into the fight. Let's get them going. And, uh, you know, for a start, we've got the genie. Right, he can start to be on our side and, you know, having a, a role to play. You can even do some of these spells before combat if you suspect that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, next turn, I would bring in uh, Guardian of Faith, or I'd bring in Animate Dead, or I'd bring in Spiritual Weapon. In some cases, Spiritual Weapon and one of the others because it's a bonus action plus an action. So you can quickly buff your team with extra, well not buff, but supplement your team with some extra combatants that are going to really help you to turn the tide. Um, more the better. And with that one level of wizard dip, you can all obviously learn spell scrolls uh, and, and spells from other uh, magic schools. Um, for example, you know, bringing in other types of uh, elementals and things like that uh, onto your team. So you can have multiples uh, in play. You can be the summoner plus the buffer plus the healer. And you can do that largely untroubled. You can see that Sanctuary, for example, unless I start causing damage to any or, or attacking, sometimes you might just forget and you attack someone or you uh, indirectly cause some damage. That could cause Sanctuary to fall off. But most of the time, you're just going to be unchallenged, untroubled even, and you're just going to be uh, supplementing your numbers uh, and bringing your party members back to life. And in the end, you're just not going to be losing fights because, you know, you can outlast the enemy. However, you know, strong they are, You, as long as uh, your heal bot is able to run around. And, you know, a good thing to do perhaps as well is make sure you've got healing potions, healing uh, spells, and also potentially reviver revivify scrolls not easy to say <laughs> revivify scrolls on your other uh, party members of course so that they can bring back shadow heart or your armored heal bot and you know get get you, your party restarted again so there we go just a few ideas i think the summoner uh you know an indirect uh, buffer and debuffer uh, roles to add to the armored heal bot build along with sanctuary and again don't sleep on spirit guardians if you decide that you know, if your sanctuary uh, goes away or if you decide to start to cause damage to your enemies, one of the best things you can do is to uh, get spirit guardians on, upcast it so it's causing more damage. And, you know, fantastic. Just go and, you know, wreck, wreck uh, your enemies' uh, hopes and dreams uh, out there on the battlefield. So I hope that was useful for you. Got more builds coming. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.